Hey everyone, John here in Chicago with Juan. Yo, yo. Juan and John. Come on. And we're not just in Chicago, we're at a particular place in Chicago. It's kind of pink. That's right. It's got a little sign that says Nini's Deli That's on it. That's right. So for those who saw Paint the Wall Black, we're back. That's right. Come on, the right? wall is Let, pink. Yeah, why don't you open the door for us? Come let's on, go let's inside. Let's see what it's like. I'm still in your hands. <laughs> this is my confidence. Back open. Hallelujah. So, here, let's sit down. Come on. Let's go over here. <clears throat> oh. So what are we listening to right now? What is this? This is Pucci Cologne. It's Spanish worship. Spanish worship. <laughs> yes. His name is Pucci Cologne. He's super awesome. It's, it's actually, I mean, it sets the tone. I really like it. Thank you, brother. Um, and the food here, by the way, is amazing. If you come through Chicago, please stop at Nini's Deli. Get an empanada. Come or on. get, what the sandwich I got? The kitchen sink? The El Kitchen Cinco. <laughs> it's got everything on it. And it, vieja. you got to be hungry. Cuban style slow cooked shredded beef. Homemade chipotle mayo, pickled jalapenos, eggs and cheese on toasted French bread. Oh man, it's I'm I'm like good. I'm like don't have to eat for like another two days. I think I'm, I, but it was amazing. It, it really is good food. And the people who said it was good and like the best empanada, they were not lying. Come on. So um, Juan, I want to hear from you. Yes. Everyone else does. They, yes. The last they saw on Paint the Wall Black, yes. you were canceled. You're in Texas fleeing for your life. Yes. What's this about? So July 6, we reopened for the glory of God, like we saw, like we talked about before. And it's been nothing short of a miracle. God has provided every step of the way. Uh, we're meeting Christians and conservatives and like-minded people from all over the country. We've had people from Los Angeles, people from Milwaukee, Seattle, New York, Virginia, uh, by the grace of God, South Side, North Side. And it's just been yeah. amazing. Well, it tell us about it, just a few of the things that you've seen God bless you with and, and the impact that has been made because you decided to uncancel yourself and reopen. Absolutely. The most most beautiful thing that we've seen is souls. Uh, by the grace of God, we've met a handful of people who have said they came to Christ because of the uh, the witness the Lord has used us Praise to God. do, the, the stance the Lord used us to take. Uh, they said that they wanted to be on fire like that. They want to come out of the closet, so to speak, with their Christianity and just be upfront about what they believe. And it's just been uh, nothing short of amazing. Like So the most important thing that we've seen here, Brother John, is souls. We've seen a harvest by the grace Amen. of God. And then we've seen business. God has brought people from all over to support us. So Wait, awesome. This is like the most amazing thing. I've never met anyone who uncanceled themselves. <laughs> and you, I mean, the, the bad reviews, a lot of them were taken off Yelp. Yep. They were taken off Google. Yep. And you're, you're in business. You're That's actually right. like back. Yeah, we're like three and a half, four months back. It's, a, it's incredible, yeah, so and you're I, back in Chicago. Every day there's something, somebody eggs us, somebody cusses us out, someone gives us a bad review, but we rejoice in those times. Okay, let me let me ask you something, because I've been thinking about this, right? So the big virtue, it's not even a virtue, but the character quality that we hear all the time from Christian leaders that you're supposed to be is winsome. Like, you gotta be winsome with the world. Like, that's the thing that you gotta do. And the thing that seems to be, in my mind, left out is courage. Having courage to face down the evil that's out there. Mm -hmm. You're one of the few men I know that has had courage. And I want you, like, tell me, like, this was scary. This was obviously, this was scary. But you're back. You've seen the Lord work. Um, you're feeding your family. You're still here. Like, you didn't, they canceled you, but, God, you know, they can't undo what God wants to do. So, like, um, tell me about, like, what you think between those two things, winsomeness and uh, courage. So I once heard, uh, a Christian say becoming someone's friend before preaching the gospel to them is like watching somebody drown before throwing them a lifesaver. Okay. So when we are winsome. So you do both. No, well, what, I'm say, what I'm saying is that when we're winsome before preaching, it's almost as if we're watching somebody die before our very eyes mm -hmm. and then choose to help them after they've already died. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how I see it. So instead of uh, doing that approach, our approach now to the gospel and our presentation is just up front. You're just you're being honest. Let's just share with people what we believe and then let people make their decision if they want to support us or not. Okay, what happens if someone calls you a mean name? That hasn't happened, <laughs> right? It happens a lot. If somebody calls me a mean name, I typically laugh. Uh, I think about what Jesus said and turn the other cheek. Uh, a lot of times we do just eat those things. Like literally people say it and I just eat it. I don't, don't even let it bother me. I just move on. The number one thing is to know who Christ has called me to be. If I live according to what people say I am, then I am failing to live according to how the Bible says I am. 
And so Amen. you must have a true understanding of who you are, who Christ has called you to be, in order to let those things deflect off of you. I would say so at least. Awesome, awesome. Well, yes. um, it's been peaceful since I've been That's here. Right. I, I will admit, I was one of the skeptics. I thought, <laughs> dude, you really want to reopen this place? Yes. I mean, did, did you not see the movie called Paint the Wall Black? Yes, like, I saw it. It was a I movie made about you. <laughs> Uh, but hey, look, uh, I was wrong. And Juan, you, you have a lot of faith. Come on, hallelujah. You, uh, you're just, you're an inspiration to so many. Thank you, Jesus. And, um, you know, I'm just so glad to be here to just see what, what's happening. He's here at Nini's right now. I know. John had it's, his first empanada. I did. This New Yorker, this Yankee right here had an empanada <laughs> today, y'all. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I was born in Southern California. Oh, I mean, I can take I a little forget, jalapeno. I always forget, I always forget, yes, take, yes. Yeah, well, Juan came to me, he's like, you don't do jalapenos, right? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I love jalapenos. So, um, yeah, no, dude. I miss red. <laughs> it is good food. And Thank you. That's one of the things I can't believe. Like, I tasted the empanada, and I'm like, how could they cancel this? Like, what? Like, even if they don't agree with you, like, where else are they going to get empanadas? Nah, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I think that, the maybe that was in your favor. When you reopen, they're like, all right, let's not cancel that place again. Like, we've right. been starved of empanadas. That's right. So, anyway, um, hey, thank you, everyone, yes. for your support. Yes, for thank Juan, you. Yes. For myself. That's and, right. And uh, if you're coming through Chicago. Yes. Stop in Nini's Deli. Yes, thank you to everybody that sewed into the film and allowed us to make that film. John was very generous, and I'm so grateful for uh, Last Stand Studios and everybody that took time to watch the documentary and to make it happen. We're so grateful. You guys have blessed our family and I beyond belief. So thank you again. All right, God Love bless everyone. Yep. Bye now. Peace.